I'll be honest, I really wasn't interested in making a fidget spinner, but you guys keep asking. So, I guess we're making a fidget spinner. We're gonna be using a piece of aluminum for this, and we're gonna be making the Green Lantern symbol, the best maker superhero. The real crux of the spinner is a hole. Once you get a hole, then everything else just kind of falls into place. So this is a step bit. It is specifically designed for cutting through metal, and it should do very well cutting up our aluminum. The hole size that I want is 22 millimeters, and that's my target right there. You can see there's the beveled edge for the next step and this first inside line is the size hole that we want and this one is the 20 millimeters. So we need to flip this piece of metal over and drill it again. Okay, there we go. Uh, looks pretty good. Okay, so we've got our hole, which is 22 millimeters, and these are the bearings that I picked up, and I just went down to the local skate shop. And, let's see. These are, and as you can see, these are 22 millimeters. So, so far, so good, right? Fit in there pretty well. It's not, woo, actually, it's a little loose. Uh oh, that's too bad. Well, we can fix that. So here's my Green Lantern symbol. Now all I'm going to do is just fold it this in half. This isn't a critical step by any means. Again, we're not machinists. That's not what we're here for. And we got a pretty decent approximation of where the hole goes. We've got our basic outline. So how do we mark this on the aluminum? I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe I should just glue that down. Okay, and I'm just going to put a little spray adhesive on the back here and then I'll stick it to the uh, aluminum. I'm all out of spray adhesive. It is just, oh! Definitely some coming out. Oh, I think I just got it in my coffee. Seriously? Mama said there'd be days like this, there'd be days like this, my mama said. Uh, I'm gonna need another cup of coffee. A bandsaw with a sharp blade can actually cut aluminum pretty well. It's a little gummy but it cuts well. Now my guard's all the way down, um, which makes it a very safe cut, but you can't see anything. So I'm gonna raise my guard just so you can see what I'm doing. I think I could try to nibble a little bit more away on the bandsaw, but uh, I also run the risk of cutting into the template, so I think I'm gonna jump over to the sandpaper at this point. You can start to get an idea of what this is gonna end up looking like. It actually shines up really nice. And for this top curve here, all I'm doing is working that with a file. Not as easy as the sander, but you get pretty good results. But I'm really liking the shape. It's uh, a little hard to get into these tiny little areas here, but um, for the most part, 
it's funny, if you try to keep the scratches going all the same direction, it'll actually look better. So I'm gonna to try to keep all the scratches going in this direction. I'm definitely liking this, and it's got a nice weight to it. So, and there's no more sharp edges here. Let me clean up this face here on the belt sander, and then we'll come back. I think we're going to call that pretty good. Let's move on to the last step. I'm just going to pop off this little plastic piece for no other reason than it looks cool without it. Okay, and as we saw earlier, it's a little loose. There's a couple ways to do this. We could shim it with a piece of tape, but seeing as it's me, I'm going to just use a couple drops of CA glue. And that should hold it in really well. I'm going to be honest with you, I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get the point of it. I guess it's kind of fun, but I just can't see myself like breaking this out in a meeting, you know? Be like, sorry, I was just, I'm listening. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah, I just get, I get kind of nervous. Go ahead. I don't understand what's cool anymore. Um, but I, I mean, it works. And it spins. It's a shop. You gotta use an air compressor on it, right? That might be a little distracting in a meeting too. Hang on a second. I'm sorry, no, go ahead, I'm just a little nervous. Can you, um, what was point two again? Just because it isn't my thing doesn't mean it isn't your thing. So I hope this is what you're looking for. It actually is kind of fun to play with. I can definitely see this being a distraction. Um, it is slightly unbalanced, but that's okay. I'm, I'm pretty unbalanced too. I did spend probably an hour after that last cut going back with sandpaper. I sanded this edge 320. So I started with 150, I did 220, and then I went up to 320. So it's actually really, really highly polished. I think it looks really cool. I uh, used a green filter to try to give it that cool green lantern look. And even if you're not going to make a fidget spinner, I hope this gave you some idea of how accessible aluminum is in the wood shop. One thing to note though, if you're cutting or especially sanding aluminum, wear some form of lung protection. Uh, it is not something you want to be breathing. It's just a nervous habit. Go ahead.